the height of a triangle is 2 millimeters less than the base. If the total area is 60 square millimeters, find the base. Okay, so they give us the area and we have a triangle here. So we need to know the formula for the area of a triangle. Here it is, and this is another one that you should probably have internalized. One half base times height. Think of it as this. The area of a rectangle is just base times height. And a triangle is one half of a rectangle. So one half base times height. That's, that's one way to remember the area of a triangle. Okay, so this here is our base, and this up here is our height. The area is given, this is 60 square millimeters, so area equals one half base times height, so we have 60 equals one half base, which is x times height, x minus 2. Okay, now what I would do here is clear fractions because we have an equal sign and a fraction we can get rid of the fractions by clearing fractions by that I mean multiply both sides by two All right get rid of that fraction All right so that gives us 120 equals x times x minus 2 and now we're on a roll this is really an x squared and remember x squareds on one side like to have zero on the other side of the equal so as soon as you see an x squared a lot of people get to this point and then get tangled up and can't solve it. Remember, x squared likes to be set equal to 0. So here we go. 120 equals x squared minus 2x to x. So 0 equals x squared minus 2x minus 120. Okay. Well, let's factor 120 so that we can work this out. Let's see, so negative 120 goes here and the diamond method, negative 2 goes here. We're trying to find factors of 120, factors of negative 120 that add to negative 2. Okay, so let's do it. Negative 120. I'm going to start in the middle because this is a small number. Anytime you have a small b down here, this is b, this is c. If you have a small b, you can start in the middle. That's going to be a little bit closer. How do you find the middle? Well, just take the square root of 120. Okay, so I'm taking the square root of 120, breaking out the old calculator here. That gives us 10, about 10.95. Okay, so that's about the middle. When these are numbers are small, and this is a negative, and this is large, you can start in the middle by just taking the square root. So I'm thinking 11, no, that doesn't do it. Let's try 12 times 10. Um, we need to make one of these negative, but that's going to do the trick, right? Because we can get to negative 2 by making this here negative 12 times 10. And sure enough, negative 12 plus 10 is negative 2. So we have found two numbers that multiply to negative 120 add to negative 2, so I'm going to put these in here, negative 12, 10, okay, and that gives us our factors. So our factors here are x minus 12, x plus 10 equals 0. So x must be 12, and x must be negative 10. There I'm setting each one of these equal to 0 and solving. Well, length is not negative, so I'm ditching the negative 10, thus here's our answer. The base is 12 and looks like we're working in millimeters.